Today we're going to have some fun testing the soil in my lawn using the Soil Savvy Test Kit. So the question might be, why would we want to test our soil? And really it comes down to the fact that without testing, we don't know what's actually going on in the soil. We don't know what nutrients it needs, or maybe we're over applying some nutrients that it, it doesn't actually need as much of in terms of fertilizers and things like that. So without doing a test, we're not really gonna know exactly what our soil needs, but if we do some testing here, we can get some results on what is available in the soil and what we're gonna need to add to it in order to improve it, and overall, we're gonna improve our lawn by doing this. All right, so here's what comes in the kit. This is pretty much just your instructions here and the card on the back side. So this is gonna be uh, what exactly you need to do. This card's gonna get sent into the lab. This is a customer card that we get to keep. There's a little barcode on here that we will put onto our card and that way we can keep this for our records. Put in the date that we sent it and all that. And then this is the actual capsule that the soil goes into. You want one cap full according to the instructions. So we need to get enough of a sample that we have one cap full. It's going to go in here and just be a little bit careful with this because it does have liquid in it and a little capsule that needs to stay in there so that can help them measure what's going on in the soil. So let's go ahead and get our soil samples. Okay, so there's gonna be a couple ways that we can collect these samples and really the simplest way is if we're gonna have a tool that looks like something like this. What happens with this is you're just gonna put this down in the ground. Your actual soil sample is gonna come up into here. You can just pick it out of there. You can take your soil off of there and put it into a bag. And then we'll take multiple samples in order to gather enough soil and mix it all together so we have a good mixture of soil. Um, so you don't have it just from one or two locations because you don't know what could have happened in just one of the, or two of the locations. So if we get a good broad mix of the whole lawn, 10 to 15 samples, something like that, and then we mix it together, take that and put it into our test kit there, then we're gonna get a little bit better reading as far as what the entire lawn is doing. So if you have a little thing like this, this I borrowed from a friend actually, and I'm gonna be using this. Uh, if you didn't have something like this, you could just use like a little garden tool to kind of cut a small little square in your yard to kind of pick out that section of the grass and take some of the soil sample off of it and then kind of place the grass back in there. You might need to add a little bit of topsoil back if you took too much out of there. But with this, it's just gonna be essentially be like aerating the soil. So we're just gonna take a core out of here and then we will just take the sample from it and we can leave it and the grass around it will pretty much just fill in there and we don't have any problem. So if you can find something like this or borrow one from somewhere, that is gonna be a big help. And I'm gonna be testing to about four and a half inches or so and then I'll put a little mark on here, maybe with a piece of tape or something. And then we'll take off, probably there's gonna be a little bit of thatch up at the top. So we wanna take that off of the sample. We gather just the soil and put it in a bag and then we will mix that all up and take a scoop out of it. I'm gonna go test and take a few samples right now. Okay, so I got those samples. I took probably close to 15 there in the front yard, and I don't know if you'll be able to, to see this here, but looking really, really good for the most part. So what we want to do is take off this little top piece of the grass here and make sure we don't have any or the organic matter in there. And I'm going to have some of the grass roots actually all the way down to here, so that's a really good sign that they're growing that deep. But what I want to do is try to break this up and get just the soil off there without getting all of the roots put into the bag. So that's kind of the plan here. I'm going to try to do that, mix that all up in a bag, and then we will get the actual scoop of soil put into that little cup. All right, so there's what I ended up with as far as the soil goes, and I have a few pieces just to pick out of there a little bit yet. But for the most part, it's pretty good. I'm just kind of sift it through here, just kept shaking it around and finding little pieces and pulling those out of there. So that's it's pretty good. And now I'm just going to take the scoop. Once I get the rest of this stuff pulled out of there, I'll take the scoop and put one full scoop into the little container. All right, so I have a nice level amount of soil here. So 
I'm gonna carefully take this out. Pour that in there. We want to make sure we get this on really tightly so it doesn't leak. So from there it's pretty straightforward. Just fill out the uh, little thing on here if you'd like to. Um, and then we're just going to fill out the rest of this card, all the information on here. Make sure we have our date on there. Make sure we just put any other information on there as far as location if you wanted to. If you happen to be doing multiple tests, I'm actually going to be doing a front yard test compared to my backyard, so I'm going to want to make sure I put the location on there. Other than that, we're just going to fill out all that information, make sure again this thing is on there tight, and then they also give you a handy little envelope here, just stick it in there, seal this off, and prepaid postage, just ship that right in the mail. That's pretty much all you have to do. So it's really a pretty straightforward process. Once I get my results back, I will share those with you. But if you happen to have any questions on the process or anything else, just let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching this video, and we'll see you next time.